how you like let me do a little the little things that um youtubers be doing for the intros <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber and today we're going to be filming a hair video. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe yet because you don't know what you're getting into, but if you're feeling frisky, if you're feeling risky, please subscribe to my channel. But today, I'm so excited. So when I'm in between hairstyles, I tend to do a lot of ponytails. And right now, I'm in between hairstyles. So I'm going to do a slick back braided ponytail. My hair is blow-dried and washed right now. So I'm just going to straighten the front. I'm going to straighten the whole thing because heat damage uh, and no one has time for that. So I'm just going to straighten like the front and the back so it can be really, really slick. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's a tutorial, but I'm not a professional, so if if you see me doing something crazy and you're like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Just know I'm not a professional, so you can hear from me, okay? But I've done it before. I'm going to insert like a little video of what it looked like over here. It was so cute, and I thought this would be a perfect video to do on my channel. So let's just stop talking. And, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all can at least follow me on Instagram before I continue. I'm going to give you a second. Okay, great, let's go. So I've divided my hair into three sections. So this is the section I'm going to straighten, and this is also the section that I'm going to straighten. And I'm just going to speed this part up because it's just me straightening my hair. I do use the chase method. I use a rat tail comb to do it. I'm only going to do one pass because, like I said, heat damage. And I also have my heat protecting here, so... I really don't mind more than one pass. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, like, but me, I really don't care because I usually have my hair in protective styles anyway. So, yeah, we're just going to get right into the straightening portion of this video. Okay, so I finished the front half of my hair, which should be, it should be good enough to slick it back. And now I'm going to move on to the back section of my hair and speed that part up too. rough straighten because I'm gonna go in and do like my little kitchen and my edges um but I also see some pieces like here and here that need to be straightened a little bit because those are also gonna be seen so I'm just gonna take that out real quick and straighten those little pieces and then we're gonna get right into the real stuff the real deal okay so now that I'm done straightening it I guess well straightening the outer edges so to make it really slick I usually use this nutrients Renutrients slick stick. I just put that around the edges of my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna put this all around my head. like the outer edges and I think I'm pretty satisfied with it but I'm gonna add a little bit of nourishing oil to give it that shine okay um I don't know what brand this is because it's rubbed off so I'm pretty sure any oil will do I, I'm just gonna spray this on the front of my head 
and then I'm going to comb through it. I actually am going to use a little bit of beeswax on the back of my head because I just can't see it. And I already know my naps back there, they be acting crazy. So I'm just going to use this on the back. I'm also going to use a little bit on the front. So now I'm going to take my slick stick and I'm going to go around all over again. It's a little bumpy, but I honestly don't care because I'm going to put like, you know, the little decorative clips in it to fix that. So I'll show you how I fix that later, but I'm just going to apply some of this to the outer edges just to slick the naps down. So I'm going to use this edge control. It's called Easy Edges. Hopefully it works. Um, it usually works with my hair, but it be playing sometimes, so we'll just, we're just gonna cross our fingers and pray that it actually acts right, and I'm just gonna lay my baby hairs and swoop them into the ponytail. I usually do this without makeup, so, um, I don't get makeup into my edges, but as of right now, we're not gonna do that because I already have makeup on. I'm sorry, is this not really relaxing? like doing your edges and like getting them like perfect this is so soothing to me i really look forward to laying my edges every day because of this but maybe it's just me let me know <laughs> satin silk scarf whatever around my edges so that way they can cook underneath there while i'm doing this ponytail here's the hair this is the glance formation 30 inch oh jesus hair is falling out mm -hmm. let me take this out so i'm gonna take about like this much you're gonna take the hair in half and then you're gonna go like this so you can make a ponytail right here i'm gonna turn around but Hair is literally going to get everywhere, but just don't get, um, don't get nervous because <sighs> that's just what it's going to do. So I'm going to pin this forward because we're going to wrap that later. And I'm just going to start braiding down, making sure I cover my real hair with the, with the, um, with the braid. So we're at the end. I'm going to seal it with a little rubber band. Ow. I'm just going to snip, snip that little end piece so it doesn't look crazy. So there's some pieces sticking out. So I'm just going to, you could just put it in the, um, take a little edge control and like slick it down. But I'm going to straighten it a little bit since it's a little bit nappy. I'm going to let that heat up. And I'm actually going to take this extra piece that I had so I could keep wrapping because I want it to be a little bit more secure. So I'm just going to keep wrapping this piece. Because it is getting on my nerves. Gone. Gone. And gone. so sophisticated I don't know why because it's just a braid but so I got these little clips you can get these at the beauty supply store I'm pretty sure you can get them like on Amazon or whatever but yeah I got these little clips I'm gonna put these like little plain ones in and then figure out what I'm gonna do next but this is gonna get rid of like the humpy lumps on my head and just give me more peace of mind and it's also mad cute so This is the completed look. Ah, this, I don't know what it is about this hairstyle that just, it's putting me in my whole duffel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, just so hot. 
how you like. Let me do a little, the little things that um YouTubers be doing for the intros. All the pretty girls know they gotta tap in. He my baby has like pretty face, no face, first place. I'll be a if I saw my sex tape. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really feeling myself right now. As you can tell, I can't stop smiling. We went from my crazy old puff in the beginning to this glorious, beautiful, simple, easy ponytail. Okay. Eh. And someone like me who barely knows how to do hair, like, this is really easy, really cute, really quick. Like, if you got to go out for brunch on a local day, this is something easy and quick to do. I am just so excited. And if you like this, now is the time for you to subscribe because more content is coming. You really, really, really don't want to miss out. I'm not going to make you hit that notification bell or anything, but if you want to, I mean, <laughs> that's your prerogative. But you can definitely follow me on Instagram for more quality content as well. Oh, I'm in love with this. But yeah, now it's time to subscribe. I ain't playing with you. Like, we're on the road to 10K. And comment down below if you want me to try any other hairstyles. I can show you guys how to do a low ponytail with, you know, with little cute curly things on the side. I can do that. I can hook y'all up with that, too. Um, but I'm just so excited. I'm about to go take some selfies. And this is going to be the end of this video because I'm still chatting. So, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.